All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus. All right. All right, I want to say the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the uh, Kodash, Racha, to uh, do another lesson. All right. I want to give double honor to the Pops and Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Say peace, blessing, and safety to all the Akiyam around the world, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. Uh, the 144,000, hopefully let. And peace, blessing, and safety also to the one-third remnant that consists of men, women, and children, okay? All right, so, uh, you know, just going to, uh, you know, go in on the hot topic, man, uh, which, uh, which been the buzz, okay, the talk of, you know, in the, uh, the media, okay? Uh, and uh, even uh, in our uh, in the Israelite community, okay. So you know, but it's nothing new to brothers in the faith, man, because we've been harping on this, man. We've been saying that uh, uh, the uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai has chariots, man. That's how we are going to get delivered by these chariots, man. All right. That's how we are going to get uh, delivered, man. All right, by these so-called UFOs, which you people see. Which are chariots of the Lord, man. Okay, these are uh, they are chariots of the Lord, man. All right, these these are in the Bible. All right, all right, these are little drawings of it, you know. But you know, Esau knows, man. All right, Esau knows, man. Okay, so you know, it's a disc shape um object. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna get you know. Into the real UFOs and Esau's Project Blue Beam, Lord willing, in this uh, sit down. Excuse me. All right. But Esau knows that it's something out there besides them, man. All right. You got whistleblowers blowing the whistle or whatever. Okay. All right. Look at that, man. All right. That's a real photo, okay? Now, these two are Esau bullshit, but we're going to get into that, okay? But, okay, nonetheless, there are, uh, 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 um, identified flying objects, IFOs, man, which are chariots of the Lord, and they are written about in the Bible. So I'm going to get a couple accounts of our forefathers being um, beamed up by chariots. All right, it's many. I'm just going to grab a couple. You know, how Ratzazad is edifying. All right, this is a uh, Second Kings two and one, and it came to pass when Yahweh would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. All right. So, it said that Elijah will be taken up into heaven by a whirlwind, okay? By a whirlwind, all right? Something that will look like this, man, all right? All right, look at Esau, little animated uh, pictures, man, all right? Look at Esau, little animated pictures, all right? Look, Esau knows, man, look something like this, man, all right? This is how Alyssa got beamed up, man. A whirlwind, all right? A wheel within the wheel, as Ezekiel described it. All right? So, uh, verse 2, it says, And Elijah said unto Alyssa, Terry, here, I pray thee, for Yahweh has sent me to Bethel. And Alyssa said unto him, As Yahweh liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. Verse 3, And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that Yahweh will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. All right. So uh, the uh, the men of uh, the sons of the prophets at Bethel came to Elisha like, Hey, you know your master uh going to be uh taken away today? All right. They knew about the chariots. They knew, all right, that he was going to be about to be beamed up. All right. It said that uh, Yahweh will take away that master, right? And it's also a cut to the uh, master thing uh, in the Bible that Jake say, uh, oh, uh, uh, the Bible say, obey your master. It's talking about a master like this, man, a man that's uh, ahead of you in the truth, all right? Right there, <laughs> all right? Elijah was Elisha's master, all right? But, you know, that's another topic, all right? But that nonetheless, other Israelites knew about the chariots too. All right, it's a common thing. Only you damn so-called bugged-out Americans 
don't know what it is, man. Men of the Lord uh, and uh, uh, the elect of the Lord, all right, know what it is, man. Men, women, and children, all right. That's in the faith, man. Know what the uh, know what the so-called UFOs are. We know that those are vehicles of the Lord. Those are our brothers. Brothers have seen them with their own eyes. Okay, <laughs> but let's keep going. It says and uh, and Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here. I pray thee, for Yahweh has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As long as Yahweh liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. Verse five. And the sons of the prophet that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said to him, Knowest that thou, Yahweh, will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. All right? So, hey, same thing, same thing again. All right? The sons of the prophets of Jericho telling Elisha, Hey, you know Yahweh is going to take oh, your master Elijah? All right? Take him how? By so-called UFO. By a chariot, man. He's a chariot of the Lord. This is how Elijah got beamed up, man. Right? Look, just like that, man. All right? Um, Salakia. Um, uh, Salakia. It, verse 6, and it says, And Elijah said to him, Terry, I pray thee, for Yahweh had sent me to Jordan. And he said, As Yahweh liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And verse 7, And fifty men of the sons of the prophet went and stood to view afar off, and they too stood by Jordan. Verse 8, And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that two went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Verse 10. And he said, I have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall be so. Verse 11. Here's the point. And it came to pass as they, as they still went on and taught that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire. And horses of fire and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. All right, what's that chariot of fire? So called UFO, man. All right, what you simple Americans call UFOs, man. All right, chariots of fire, man. Chariots of the Lord, right there in the scriptures, man. Okay, this is how Elijah got beamed up, man. All right, people have seen these things, man. All right, brothers have seen them. All right. It's beautiful, man. And Yahweh by Shimei Asai is making his presence known, man. All right? Those are those are our brothers in those chariots, man. Those are the angels of the Lord drop, driving those things, man. All right? Let's see how a great uh, king went, uh, went up into heaven is going to come back. Uh, It's Acts chapter 1, verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right? What kind of cloud? What's that cloud, man? All right? It wasn't no damn regular cloud, man. It was a chariot, man. All right? It was a chariot. All right? That's what took Yahweh shot up. And while they stood, while, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right. So Yahweh left um, on the uh, chariot. All right. The second time. And he's coming back on the chariot, man. When he makes his return. All right. That's how Yahweh coming back, man, on the chariot. Because when he left the apostles, okay, after he was uh, resurrected. He left on a chariot, and that's how he's coming back, man. The angel just told him, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. They seen him going to heaven in a, a chariot, and that's how Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. On a chariot, man. All right? In the cloud, man. What people call, uh, what they say, clouds in the Bible. 
All right, those are chariots, man. That whirlwind. All right, so-called UFOs, man. Chariots. And it's not no damn little green aliens driving. It's men of the Lord. All right. Um. Back this when I just read up. All right, it said your house shot gonna come back in the chariot. Okay. Let's see. Let's get it. Behold, Revelation one and seven. Slaki. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so Amun. All right? So there you go. He cometh with clouds, man. Not no damn regular clouds, man. All right? That's madness. That's Christian dogma. He's coming on chariots, man. So-called UFOs. All right? So now, now that that's happening, now that... Yahweh White House Shah has his chariots manifesting itself more than ever. Esau is trying to do something to combat that, to show, uh, to make the people, to keep control of the people, to make the people think that they're in power. Okay. Esau is trying to combat that. So what they're doing, they're doing, trying to, they're trying to put things in the sky, like this bullshit right here, man. All right. Uh, I forgot what they said it was, uh, 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 some rocket or whatever that was in California the other day that uh, all of them simple Americans was going crazy over, man. All right? But we know that the cherries look like a wheel within a wheel. All right? Now, they can manifest in any shape or form they want to, but, all right? But this is what happened in uh, uh, California. All right, Esau sent up something, man, in the sky. All right, testing they something. But they're just getting ready to test their project Blue Beam, man. Okay? And they're going to try to put uh, Cesare Bozier out there to make all you Israelites run to it, man. Because you think you're going to be seeing Yahweh shine. All right? But Esau got their own technology, man. All right? So you got to, hey, you, hey the elect going to be able to discern, man. All right? Because we know what it's saying in uh, scriptures. How uh uh it's going to look, man. All right? A will within a will. And we know how your house shall look, so we're not going to be able to deceive us. So uh, let's get that real quick. Uh, Matthew 24 and 22, And except those days shall should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right? Yeah, that's why days are going hella fast, man. Uh, verse 23, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. All right? So Esau going to try to use something like they look, uh, technology to make you think it's your house shot, all right? But hey, the Bible say believe it not, all right? Um, verse twenty-four: For there shall arise false Hamashiachs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So if it was possible, all right, they would deceive the elect with this thing Esau got now, man. Or all the technology Esau got. It said they're gonna do great signs and wonders. All right. Did it say in heavens? Um, no. Nope. It said, but they shall show great signs and wonders. All right. So Esau got technology that they can damn put a picture of Cesare Bozier in the sky. All right. But hey, they can't deceive the elect, man. All right. It said, behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. So, yeah, they tell you uh, your house shot here or there. Hey, believe it not, man. All right? Because he going to come on a, uh, he coming back on a, a mountain like uh, um, chariot, man. The fathership. Every eye is going to see. The scriptures say every eye shall see. All right? Um, Read this last verse. Close it up. It says, for as the light coming out of the east and shining even into the west, shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right? So everyone is going to see when your house shot back. So Esau is not going to be able to deceive nobody with their Project Blue Beam, man. All right? Hey, but, man, the Lord has uh, got this thing bust wide open, man. All right? The chariots are manifesting itself. Esau is hitting a panic button, man. All right? Because they know they're not alone. All right? <laughs> Those are the angels of the Lord, man. That's our salvation, man. Kwam Yasharala, man, we about to get delivered out of here, brothers, man. All right? The brothers hovering over us, watching over us. All right? Ready to come deliver us, man. All right? How are you? How is is hearing our sign cry? All right? You know? So with that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Shimmy Shah. All right? 
Double honors to the positive uh, Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.